Hey everybody, I just wanted to jump in real quick with a comment of something. I've been looking around on the internet, found some examples I want to share with you about good practice for cutting in your roof penetration flashing. Just want to show you another example of what I consider to be the right way to do it. If we look at this example, what I want you to notice is that this is done well. This is cut in way up into the course of composite shingle that the flashed penetration is going up under. The idea is that the hole in the roof is right about here, right? It's right about there. And if you draw a line through that, you can see that that line is way above the line of the drip edge of the course of shingle. The idea being that as water falls down the roof, it goes down from one course of shingle down to the next, over the next, then over the flashing. You want that hole to be above the location of that drip edge. And they've done a very good job of cutting it in and putting it above that. Found another example here. Similar thing, again, this isn't solar, but it's showing the proper technique. Here again, you can see right about here is where that hole will actually be. And you can see if we draw a line through it, that hole line is nicely above this drip edge line. That's what you want. Now, they also have a couple points here. They've put in a couple of nails to secure down that flashing. I don't necessarily think that that's necessary. There's different folks with different attitudes about that, but in general, I don't think that's necessary. But the point is that not only do we have the edge of the flashing above, if not equal to, the drip edge of the composite shingle course that it's sitting on, but the whole line is cut way up so that that whole line is above the drip edge of the shingle that it's in. That's the proper technique. And just to finish with kind of a counter example, I've used this picture in some other talks as well, but look over here at this roof penetration. Everything about this thing looks kind of okay, but actually it's not. These uh, conduit mounts you can see are just connected right down to the roofing without any flashing, but that's not my point. My point is, let's take a look at this. Here's a flashing put in, it's got an OD flashing on it, but here's an example of not doing it right. Notice how it's not cut in at all. They just put the flashing in, drilled a hole at this position, there's the line, but the drip edge of the last course of shingle is way above it. What we've seen is that this drip edge line has typically been down below. That's what I've been showing you was right, but they left it above. What they should have done on this course of composite shingle, that's the course that needed the cut in. They needed to make the cut in around this course of shingle as well. So they've gone under one course of shingling, but they should have gone under two. So that's a contrast to the good techniques that I just showed you. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.